people do is they go to concerts and they record some things and they put it up on a YouTube channel, right? And that just gets everybody in trouble. Yeah. And they're like, well, why don't you do it? You do. And I'm like, no, we don't. We don't do that. I said, they will take it down one of these days. Yeah. And so what happened was, you know, he went to all these concerts. He kept doing it. He was like, oh, look at all these views I got. And then one day he came like, you know, such and such artists, they took my videos down. I said, well, I told you digital rights. They did. They, they tell you not to take video of concerts. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I know people that basically have put their own music up on the internet mm -hmm. and uh, they basically went after the providers and told them to take the website down because this is music that they're not permitted and the guy, I wrote the music, it's my record company, I didn't make a complaint and then after you go through all the legal system they'll let you, they'll, okay, okay it's your music, you own all the rights, somebody was just a crank thing mm -hmm. so, um, uh, but then they'll say, okay, but you you know, okay, well, you, your site's open, but everything is taken down. Well, no, we don't put it back up again. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. You can have people that, uh, you know, which is another thing is that you can be threatened right and left by people. You remove this video from the internet. Well, no, we remove, if you remove it, we, anybody that complains, we remove the entire video. Mm -hmm. But it's there. I know women that basically, they did naked stuff, and they basically did fought one system after another to get it off the air. You know, off the internet, no, God, the thing is everywhere. Yeah. Once you're on out there, they're now calling it the cloud. It used to be called the ether when I was younger. Mm -hmm. But uh, the, once it's in the cloud, it's there and it's never coming off. Mm -hmm. It's somewhere, on some, some server somewhere in the universe it's setting. One thing I will tell you to help protect yourself a little bit is if you're doing video, is do not post the highest quality of your video on the internet. Never. And, this is for a multitude of reasons. One is, if you do the highest quality, it um, takes longer to load. Yeah. Number two is, when somebody else copies it, then they've got the version like yours, which is the higher quality. Yeah. And yeah. one of the ways to show that you were there first is you have the higher quality yeah. and the date and time stamp. Because uh, we, did a, we did a thing that was basically a, a somewhat of a hit for an underground circuit in Europe for a walk on the Sea Rocks line. I would never give people, they want your versions of it to show in their, to show on their dance clubs. I'd always send them the lowest quality um, and a Windows media file that they could basically put on their system and run. Because they just steal the thing. Mm -hmm. And why, you know, because our, the C-Rock slide is, a, is, is meant for uh, theatrical competition. It's our film short thing for, um, the Academy Awards next year. So, mm -hmm. uh, because it is a, it, 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 it is a magnificent piece. It's a magnificent piece. I mean, it's a great piece of music, a great piece of animation. But that's what's our film short. So I let people see a small version, and I never let them have a big version. They'll burn out my small. They were burning my small version out on a daily basis. So, but um, they said viral video is changing. I mean, it's not changing for the better of a lot of people because it, it's going to restrict. It, 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 the people say, well, it, it, it is a business, you have to make money, and I understand that. I mean, I'm very happy if I see commercial stuff over the corner of our things. Mm -hmm. If I see a commercial thing over the corner, even though we're not making any money off it, it means it's going to sit there for a while. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, you're going to have to deal with, uh, eventually, every every video, every company is going to run commercials and everything you do. Well, part of it is, is they've got to monetize it somehow. Yep. Right? Because you think, oh, I just go on the internet and everything's free. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not free. Somebody's paying for it. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, and there's ways of doing it if it's done right. I mean, anybody notice? Anybody notice? Mm -hmm. You know, that can't be removed. It's totally no, unremovable. Can't. It's unremovable. You're spending here, like this piece is 30 minutes long or something like that. And you sit there and see my... My, my hat and my shirt and her, her swimsuit and her glasses for the entire time. Mm -hmm. that's, that's how you monetize the internet, folks. So I guess, you know, we've blabbed enough. It's my, I do, when I get, I don't get, well, I'm not really, I'm more wound up in editorial, but sometimes they ask about the technical side, and the technical side is my side. It is totally my side because I'm in charge of compression, I'm in charge of the 3D conversion system, I'm in charge of the animation. 
uh, you know, and I'm in charge of selecting whatever music we're going to use from Share Dog. Mm -hmm. okay? So she tells me, I tell the, I tell Prince Wilhelm what music we want. He goes through like that, and then I have to make it fit into whatever we're doing too. So sometimes the music that he delivers is not the music that I like. So. <laughs> But I guess until next time, this is all camera. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information, you can always go to www.montybubbles.net on the net. And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you. <laughs>